Hey guys, I'm Joe with Brick and I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to do like a quick easy setup for the new Sennheiser G3 wireless lavaliers that we have. So you're going to have five pieces that come in the kit. You're going to have your transmitter, which is basically where you're going to connect your microphone. You're going to have your receiver, which is where you'll run your XLR to your camera. And you can attach that to your camera with a hot shoe mount that's on the back. You have your lavalier which is just your mic with the clip that you would attach to your transmitter. You have your mini to mini cord, which is basically if you're going to run your receiver straight into, say, your DSLR camera, like your 70D. And you have your mini to XLR, which is what you would most likely be using the most because you'll be using this with the 90s, the 40s, C100s. First, what I like to start with is you would take your receiver, and I'll show you how to turn it on, basically. It's quick and easy. There's two little prongs here that if you just give a slight push and pull, you'll open the uh, pack up. And then you just want to press gently and hold the on off switch and you'll see it come on. You Now I stress you don't have to push hard because you can damage the buttons. So just a gentle push, hold it for like a second or two and it'll turn on. What we're going to do now is we're going to find uh, open frequencies. You'll run into some issues, say you're shooting in Times Square or something like that, where you might have a frequency that that's running into one another, somebody's coming on to yours. So what you'll do is there's an easy setup where you can just hit the set button and then you're gonna just scroll with these two up down buttons till you find easy setup. Then you're gonna hit set again to select it. You're gonna hit up again and you're gonna find scan new list. Hit set again, and you're going to see it automatically starts to scan for open frequencies, channels, whatever uh, might be available. So when the scan is done, you're going to see that it comes to bank and free. Now this is bank five, uh, and then free, and that's, it has like free, uh, eight free frequencies. What you would do is just select, and then you can scroll through what they set for you as free. And you can select any, either, any one of those, and you just hit set again, and it'll say stored, and then you're ready to go. And then when you want to back out of that menu, all you have to do is hit on off really quickly, and it'll bring you right back to the main screen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sync our receiver to our transmitter. So what you would do is you would hit set to get back to that menu, and then you'll find sync. When you, do, when you find sync, you'll hit set, and again, you're going to pop up a screen that's a little bit bigger that says sync with a little arrow. Now, this is what's really cool about these G3s is that it's a very quick and easy syncing process. All you have to do is you see a little dark area here. Both the receiver and the transmitter have that, so all you have to do is face them towards each other like that, and you'll see a little check mark pop up. And that means now your receiver and your transmitter are now sunk, and it's that simple. Once you're uh, set up and you have your receiver and your transmitter uh, both sunk, you can take your receiver, and with the hot shoe mount that's already attached to the back, you can easily attach that to the mount on the camera. So if you just slide it in and tighten, Now you have your receiver connected to the camera, and all you have to do is take your XLR to Mini, attach that right here where it says AF out. So you just slide that Mini in, screw it in. You don't have to do it too tight, just make sure it's in there secure. You would turn. And on the 90 here, if you want to split that into two channels, you will put that into input two, your XLR. So once you have the, your receiver attached to your camera, you would attach your lavalier here to where it says mic line. Same as the receiver, you just gently tighten it till it's in there and ready to go. Usually what I like to do is take the transmitter and either connect it to the back pocket or the belt somewhere where it's not going to fall. You can sometimes do it in the side pocket depending on the angle in which you're shooting. And then I like to run, take the lavalier 
Usually run it up the back of the shirt, over the shoulder. You can put a little loop with maybe a little piece of tape here, and then you can connect your lavalier easily. Another thing you would want to do here on your transmitter, and that once you have it set up on your subject and ready to go, you can take go to the pack, go back into the menu by hitting set, and you're going to find where it says sensitivity. So at sensitivity, when you hit set, you're going to go in, you'll see it says negative 24, where this is set right now. You can go up or down and change that. And just always remember that the closer to zero you are, the higher your sensitivity is. Once you have your sensitivity set on your transmitter, you want to come to your camera. Make sure you put your headphones in so that you're monitoring your levels. So you'll make sure that you have your input set to channel two so that you're splitting your one feed into two channels. So you want to make sure that your input two is set to mic level and that your phantom power is off since the receiver is battery powered. Then after that, you'll just set your levels on your camera. And if you look here, we're peaking just about where we want it at our line here. And there you have it. Uh, that's the quick, easy setup for the Sennheiser G3s. If you have any questions, please feel free to come over to Public Equipment and ask us.